everybody so an absence of me in this video i am really not well right now um just not feeling good at all so i thought i do want to upload something so i thought i could just give you like a brief overview of my makeup collection and storage and um, i filmed one of these before i think kind of mid 2017 but i think quite a lot has changed since then not to mention my setup has gotten better and I have my own kind of beauty room now. So this is my beauty room, but the only kind of part of it that's done and finished is this wall where I have my lovely fairy lights, a mirror, I've got a hanging rack over on the right, so just here. And then of course I have my Ikea desk and some acrylic storage and things. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with this wall. Um, the rest of the room still needs done. I need artwork, painting, I need, a rug, I need a couch, so but all, all of that will come and then hopefully maybe by mid 2018 I can do a like fully updated room is finished tour. Anyway, let's just jump into it. First thing you can see is that I have um, the IKEA Alex desk, well it's not the desk, I've got the two side tables. So both of these are the five drawers down here and then I got a tabletop, I don't know what the tabletop's called. Um, but that is what it looks like, excuse the bin on the right. Um, and the chair is also Ikea, I think that was like 20 bucks or 15 pounds, it was so cheap. Um, and when we get to the acrylic storage, I'll tell you a bit more about it. But anyway, let's move in and we'll start with the top of the desk. So just so you know, I haven't like cleaned my brushes or really organized things for this video. The only thing I did was put out that book on my desk just for the thumbnail of this video so that it looks better. And I also lit a candle because I feel like, you know, that's what beauty people do. They light candles in rooms. So let's start over here on the left. So first of all, I have a lamp here, not because I like it, just because I need the light. Um, and then I've got a candle down here. This acrylic drawer is one, two, three, four, five, six drawers. And I got this on eBay. This was like 30 pounds or something, but they're actually a bit cheaper now when I look. <clears throat> excuse me and I will link these in the description box because there's heaps of different options I really like these though because um, although all the drawers pull out it does flip up as well which is quite cool um, I've just got a Yankee candle Bermuda Beach um, burning there spare camera battery and then I've got my um, this was in the PR package for the Amraz Amrazi? Amrazi highlighter it's one of the phone cases so this top one is mostly ABH liquid lipsticks. All of these are ABH except this one. This one's from the BAM. Um, I've got some, I've got a lip primer, two Soap and Glory lip glosses that I got in one of their Christmas sets. One of the Incredible lipsticks. Um, what's this, a L'Oreal. And then I got this um, Rimmel black lip gloss just because it was 50 pence and I wanted to have a black lip gloss in case I needed it, so top drawer. Second drawer again, all ABH liquid lipsticks, except that one's a lip gloss and that one is a Barry M Map Me Up. By the way, fantastic, fantastic quality liquid lipsticks from the drugstore for about a fiver. But yeah, I've got the whole range of ABH liquid lipsticks, that's why I have so many. Um, I think I have gifted a few shades away to other people that I don't use, but on the whole I've got most of them. So if we move on to the third drawer, it is ABH liquid lipsticks here, glosses here, and then in my hand I've got, this is a um, Nip and Fab liquid lipstick and an ABH lip gloss. So it's just another another lip drawer, basically. They're all lip drawers, you'll get it, you'll, you'll see. This drawer here is more lip products. On the left I have my Maybelline Matte Inks. These are lovely, I really, really love the formula. And then I've got four um, Joey lip toppers. So I've got, that's Cabernet, Saint-Tropez, Funfetti and Buff. Funfetti is so cool. I don't know if you can see how sparkly it is. It's so nice, it's got like a pink sheen to it. It's really nice. And then on this side here, I have some of the little mini fleek um, Matte Maze lip creams. They're really nice as well. I do like the formula. I prefer the Barry M formula, but I do like that one. Moving down to the next drawer, I've got some Lime Crime Velveteens. To be honest, I really don't reach for these anymore. They have more sentimental value to me because they were the first ever company that sent me PR. And if you remember my previous collection, I did declutter a lot of these. But these ones stayed 
Again, probably the only one I reach for is cashmere because that's a gorgeous shade, but yeah, I've, I've kept them. And then the last drawer down here is um, all lip pencils. I love lip pencils. I have the same thing to say in my previous collection. The Primark ones are incredible. I love Barry M ones. Um, Urban Decay are of course really nice but really expensive. So yeah, just a collection. Oh, I really like these um, pure ones as well. These are really cool, retractable. They self-sharpen. Yeah. Oh, what a mess. If we move to the left of that cabinet, I've got two brush pots. These brush pots were just candles. Very simple. This one was like a cup from TK Maxx. And the reason I've got like different ones, these are the brushes I reach for like every day. So I just keep them separate. Um, and then I've got a Primark PS Pro Hydrating Prep Spray. This is a dupe for the MAC Fix Plus. So I just keep that on there for spraying my face, spraying my brushes. Underneath the brushes, I've got these little sets of drawers where I just keep like lash tools, lash glue, sharpener. This one's got like lip balm, a little mirror, more lash glue, um, tweezers. And then this bottom one, it's pretty empty, just has my like um, moustache razors. They're really eyebrow razors and a lighter for my candles. And then moving on to the middle, I have, what do I have? Um, I've got all my beauty blenders and sponges here. Not an ideal storage, but I don't have room in my drawers right now. I've got some moisturizers that I like, some SPF, more moisturizers, some face, you know, facial stuff. I keep it out so I remember to use it every day. Um, and then here I've got this Partners in Crime um, necklace that I got this morning from Doll 10 along with some uh, cheeky handcuffs. That was some PR package, I enjoyed it. <laughs> um, that's for the release of their new Illegal Mascara, which I will show you in a second. And then this drawer here, this is my brow drawer, um, which is stuff to the gunnels of brow products, my favorite everyday brow products, my ABH dip brow, I've got a few different shades. I really like the brow powders that ABH do. Um, what else? I love the Ico brow gel, that's really good. What else is good, the L'Oreal one? This Doll 10 one is incredible because the brush is tiny. It's even smaller than Gimme Brow. And um, pure brow gels, brow whizzes, pencils, definers, that whole, that whole kind of thing. I love brows. I hate brows. I hate doing my brows, but I love when they're done. And then in the drawer below that, this case by the way is from Primark and it was only a tenner. I love it. You can still get them. This drawer is all eyeliners. Liquids, pencils, creams, gels, glitters. My favorite one right now is my Urban Decay Distortion Glitter. I use this so much, I love it, um, it's great. But again, I still really love the Collection Glam Crystals. Um, I've got one of the Sleek Eye Arts. Um, that's just a gel liner. Oh, my favorite ever. Um, Blue liner from Kiko, I've got two of them because you can never have too many liners, you know, you know the drill. Then I've got a bunch of the NYX Vivid Brights. I like them for the colours that they have. I don't like that they crack. They do crack on your eyes, which is really frustrating, so yeah. That's all eyeliners. Probably spent way too long talking about boring eyeliners. So then to the other side of my skincare chest, I have my mirror that I do my makeup with. I don't want to show you me because I look like trash right now. Let me put that away. I've got two more brush pots, an Eloise buffing brush, and then in this top drawer, I just keep um, Kirby grips and hair bubbles. And then the second drawer, It's very random. I've got a block of soap for doing like soap brows. These are like tape for doing swatches, gems, and my like travel. That's it in that drawer and here. That's gross. Moving on to my second case. Again, this is from eBay. I keep on top of my perfumes. So I've got four Joe Malones. I've got a Lady Gaga. I really like that actually. This is a Ted Baker body spray. I just put that on after a shower. 
this Paul Smith woman is lovely. It reminds me of going to France with my in-laws for the first time. My favourite red apple, Nina Ricci, and then this is a Salvatore Ferragamo, which my mum bought me, and it's really, really nice. So in the top drawer, the top drawer again, we have a bunch more um, lip products. So I've just got things like Makeup Geek, Kat Von D minis, ABH minis, some NYX drugstore ones, Gerard Cosmetics, Stila, Huda, random kind of lipsticks at the back, um, and then two like lipstick queen pencils, which I got in TK Maxx. That's the top drawer. Second drawer, more liquid lipsticks again. MAC Retro Matte. Got my Sephora lip creams, love them. ColourPop, Color Drain, Sigma. Look how bright these are. These are awesome. I need to actually use these, I've never used them yet. Next drawer down is a Morphe one, some Classy Lashes liquid lipsticks, Jeffree Star, and a random Rimmel. What's that called? Latte something. Latte to go. It's a really, really nice um, drugstore nude. Not sure of the formula, but I love the colour. So it's one of those ones. So getting even more disorganised, I've got Makeup Geek, ABH, Kat Von D, Jeffree Star, Smolder, Barry M, Soap and Glory, Gerard, ABH, and NARS. Yeah, it's just a mishmash. I, there's no rhyme nor reason to that drawer, in all honesty. So then our last two drawers are like bullet lipsticks exclusively. This is all the ABH matte lipsticks. I declared some shades I didn't use or want, gave them to like my mum and my niece. Um, so that's all the ABH ones. Really nice formula, like them. And then this one is just all my MAC. And then I've got three Charlotte Tilbury's in there as well. Yeah. Whirl, Viva Glam. What else have we got? Dangerous, Saint Germain, Honey Love. Lots of classic ones. I've got like Velvet Teddy and Ruby Woo. And so yeah, that is the top of my unit. So now we'll go into my drawers. So this is my first drawer on the left hand side. I don't think I can move you any closer or the tripod will fall off, but I'll just pick things out to show you. This is my foundation drawer and I've got my concealers in this tub at the side. So highlights of this drawer is my favourite Clinique Beyond Perfecting is number one, always. And I've got two of them. Um, I love my Kat Von D Locket foundation. I love the Kat Von D Locket foundation, so I've got two of them somewhere. There it is. Um, yeah, I buy things in pairs if I love it, apparently. Well, some that I hate. I've still got both of my Ordinary, the Coverage and Serum. I'm gonna declutter these for my friend Nicole, but I tend to just wait until I've got a, a few things to send, so they're staying there for now. I don't hear many people talk about this. This is the Wonder Brow Cover Proof. That's really high coverage. Of course, one I reach for a lot right now is my Maybelline um, Super Stay. I've got the Tarte um, Matte one, which I'll leave a link for if you haven't seen that video um, somewhere. Double wear, of course. Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I've got a couple Huda Beauties. LA Girl. And then I've got a bunch of the Maybelline Fit Me because I really like that. A really good drugstore one is this one which is the lasting performance from Max Factor. What else? Favourite drugstore one is the L'Oreal Infallible Matte. Milani, Urban Decay, Kiko. A variety of foundations. I have a lot of foundations. Um, but I get a lot of joy collecting foundations and discovering new ones. Then over here I have my concealers. So I've got my Makeup Forever palette. I've got a bunch of the collection Conceal and Defines. I was so organized and I went out on the day it got released. So that's why I have so many. I think I've got four or five of them now. Um, my wee old Benefit Erase paste. So much strong, you know. I really love this under my eyes. This is my Rhode Isle Highlighter Concealing Pen and it's pink. So it really, really brightens. 
what else? So I've got my Freedom White Concealer. That's really good for mixing with ones that are far too dark. My bougiest one is my um, YSL All Hours one. The only thing is it's way too dark for under my eyes, so I need to use it just for blemishes, which is fine. It's a nice concealer, it's nice enough. Um, lots of the collection, Rimmel, you know the deal. Lots of concealers, I like concealers a lot. So the second drawer is quite boring. I don't get a lot of joy from this drawer, but it's necessary. This is where I keep all my powders, and then at the back I've got different skincare bits, samples, things like that. So like the Elemis Superfood, that came in the Glamour Beauty Club this month. I've got my Clinique Pep Start, various moisturizers, um, mud masks, you know, oh and primers as well in here. So I've got like my, my Dream Serum that I'm now using really sparingly because I've almost run out of it. Things of that nature. And then in these two front compartments, I have powders. So I've got some MAC powders that I really enjoy. Um, Laura Mercier, Kat Von D, that stuff's brilliant. Um, one of the W7 banana powders. And then this is an empty W7 banana powder, but I decamped my RCMA into there just so it's so much easier to use. Rimmel Lasting Finish, Maybelline Matte Maker, really nice drugstore one. This is my Hourglass um, Iridescent Strobe. This is um, very, very subtle. So I use this as an all over face powder and it gives a lovely brightening effect. Collection Lasting Perfection and my Wedding Clinique Compact. This is pretty much finished. Let me try and open it. Yeah, it's pretty much finished, but I keep it for sentimentality because I used it when I got married, so. There we go. Third drawer down. So this is where we start getting to eyes. First off, I've got my three Z palettes. These are from Amazon and they hold 32 eyeshadows. Isn't that beautiful? So this is my neutral one. Um, all AB8 shadows, if you want to know. This is my more bright, colorful one. And then this is just a mishmash of different shades. I love AB8 single shadows, they are phenomenal. Let me swatch a couple for you. Sorry, I'm having to hold the camera in my left hand. Look at these. Look at those. Underneath that I store a lot of things. So I store like um, mixing mediums at the back, primers at the back, um, all my Lime Crime Super Foils, which I don't use but I keep because again, they were the first ones to ever send me PR. And my Pure Eye Polishes, these are great as a base for eyeshadow. Some Stila Glitter and Glows. MAC um, pigments and glitters, all of my Maybelline. I've also got all of my Maybelline color tattoos. Again, these are great eyeshadow bases. The original Stila Magnificent Metals. Do you remember when they were in these pots? They might still make them like this. I'm not sure, but these are gorgeous. And um, it's a random MAC pigment. All of my Smolder Potion um, like loose glam dusts, these are really nice and you mix them in with the um, smolder potion and they create such a gorgeous like foiled look and then I have heaps of glitters so like lots of pots of um, cosmetic glitter and then at the back I can't reach it out I've got another tub Ooh. full of more glitters like Barry M I've got NYX glitters, um, more barium, and then I've got like um, little pigment pots. So this, this drawer is an eye drawer. And then on this side of the drawer, I've got some more palettes that just don't really fit in my palette drawer. So this one's by Sample Beauty. This is the Kismet palette, which looks like this. It's a lovely, bright, colorful palette. Got another Sample Beauty palette. This is the, is it the BVX or the Ultimate? Ah, this is the ultimate 
So this is one of those like pressed glitter palettes. Um, I'll swatch a couple. I do like these palettes. They're, I do just find I prefer using loose glitter. And then this is the last sample beauty palette. So what I mean by private label is there's this company right now that's getting very popular on social media called Jolie Beauty. Sample Beauty has all of the same palettes, all of the same products for much cheaper. So if you're looking at a Jolie Beauty palette, go and look on Sample Beauty first because they will have it and they will have it cheaper. This is a really nice palette actually. Oh, I just broke my tripod. So the fourth drawer is my main eyeshadow palette drawer. Um, I'm just gonna have to, I'll be quite quick because I've gone through all of these fairly recently. You can go ahead and have a look on my channel when I did an eyeshadow palette collection and declutter. Um, but I'll just show you kind of an overview of what we have. So we've got things like um, the Subculture palette, the Prism palette, the prism one here, Urban Decay again, Gwen Stefani, I've got my Modern Renaissance of course, oh this one's lovely, this is the Colour Drain Queen of Hearts palette, this is stunning. I'd really recommend picking this up when it comes back in stock on Beauty Bay, it's £45 and worth every pound in that £45. Then I've got my Makeup Revolution Soap Does Nails palette, fantastic drugstore palette. What's this? Huda Beauty Desert Dusk, Makeup Revolution Flawless 3, don't really reach for that that much. We've got the Pro Fusion Naturals palette, I think they're yet to come to the UK, I don't know. Meet Matrimony by The Bam, I still have my Androgyny that I said I was going to declutter but after I said I was going to declutter I did a look with it and I really liked it so I've kept it. Um, my Urban Decay Moon Dust, which I love, that gets a lot of use. My, oh, my Sephora Pro, I have the, what one, the Warm. Honestly though, I never, ever reach for this, ever. I feel really bad that my husband spent so much money on it in Canada, but there we go. Sorry, Hamish. Um, what's that, boring. Got my Huda Rose Gold, I really like that. My Too Faced Sweet Peach, never use that. Um, Urban Decay Ultimate Basics, that's a really good palette. I've got the NYX Metal palette, this is gorgeous. My mum got me this for Christmas and I absolutely love the shades in it. Let me swatch a couple, it's that nice. It's such a gorgeous palette, I love it so much and I do actually reach for it quite a lot. This is a gorgeous shade all over the lid. It's just so vibrant and metallic. And if you wet them, then they're even better. Trust me, it's really nice. 25 bucks though for a NYX palette. How do you feel about that? Then I have my Sigma Creme de Couture, which is lots of um, fun, bright colors. And I was actually so impressed by the quality of these when I used it first, it's really nice. I have a Doll 10 palette that's very neutral, the Meat Match Maker which I'm giving one of these away, go and check out my giveaway video, that actually probably might be finished, it's getting, yeah it will be finished by now, it's getting um, announced on Thursday. Juvia's Place Mini Masquerade, can I be honest, I have never used this successfully. Like these shades are beautiful and I love bright makeup looks. You'll probably know that, especially if you follow my Instagram. If you don't, come and follow my Instagram. It's really fun. I've never successfully done a good makeup look with this. Every time I've started to use my Juvia's Place palettes, my makeup's gone wrong. I don't know what it is. This is the Magic palette. Top right shade, I have completely hit pan on because it's my favourite shade for setting my eyeshadow base. But apart from that, I never use it. I try to use it, but I, it never works out. So I probably should declutter these to be honest, but I just love the packaging though. And I think they look really nice in my makeup. <laughs> oh my goodness, we have the worst reasons for keeping things. Jaclyn Hill palette not getting rid of that ever. I love it so much and I use it a lot. 
And then just at the back here, I'll not get them all out. We can see I've just got a stack of Sample Beauty and Morphe palettes. So my Morphe 35B that I used to death, Sample Spectrum, just tons of those palettes. I've got one, two, three, seven of those palettes with a few more in there. So yeah, I clearly love the quality. So this drawer here is, these are all lashes over on this side and then all my setting sprays are here as well and then I've got all my mascaras. Yeah, it's not an exciting drawer to be honest. You know, setting spray, woo, I like it, I use it. Um, lashes that I really like, I love tatty lashes. I love doll beauty lashes. I love girls with attitude lashes. I've loved cheap Amazon and eBay lashes. Yeah, lashes, 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 lashes. Boom, let's move over to the other side. So this top drawer is like new in, stuff I've not had a chance to use yet, or stuff maybe I'm saving for giveaways, that kind of thing. So at the front, I've got this Seascape Island Apothecary body lotion. I got this in the newest Mrs. Gloss Beauty Box. Um, I've got a few body lotions on the go in my bathroom so I'm just keeping this one as a new one. Also my body brush um, which I have been using on my bum and my thighs so we'll see if it makes any difference. I have a backup of my Declior Micellar Oil for when my other one runs out. This is a Doll 10 mascara that I got in PR with my handcuffs this morning. And it's cool, it's got two in it, so there's one for me and one to give away, so I'm gonna put one in the giveaway when I have my next one. Paracetamol, that's necessary. My pill for my pain. Um, what else? That's another thing from the Mrs. Gloss Box, a hand cream. And then I've got my Star Skin. This looks so cool, the Star Skin Micro Filler Mask Pack. Let me know in the comments if you want a video review on this. It's to like mimic micro needling at home. It's supposed to be incredibly advanced. So that's exciting and I do want to try it. So let me know if that's something you'd be interested in seeing. Um, at the back, I just get a year's supply of my pill because I get savage, savagely bad periods. I don't know if that's TMI, most of us are women that watch my videos, so I'm sure it's fine. Um, then I've got the High Smile Teeth Whitening Kit, which I've never tried. Then at the front, I've got a bunch more sleek makeup that was just sent to me by a PR company. But it's either stuff that I've already got and used, got and haven't really liked, or got, or had in the past or whatever, and I just don't need it. Like, they sent me about... 10 of these foundations again, so I've got about 15. <laughs> so they're just in there for a giveaway along with one of their eyeshadow palettes because I don't need any more eyeshadow, eyeshadow palettes. So that's why they're in there. Second drawer down is highlighters. Yeah, that's right, highlights, I almost forgot there. So this is a lovely drawer. I love opening this drawer. I have a lot of highlights. I've got a recently restocked Sleek Solstice. This is incredible. I've got all my like original glow kits down here. My MAC strobe cream, that is still a staple for me. Um, new ones, like the ABH and Amrezi one. Let me swatch this. But this is a stunning, stunning highlighter. I love it so much. I've used it pretty much every day since I got it. I also really like this. This is the Bam Mary Dew gorgeous liquid highlight. Just a bunch, my Aurora and my Moonchild Glow Kits. Lots of liquid ones, including like Iconic London or Barry M. Lots of high end, lots of drugstore. It's just a lovely drawer to be in. It gives me, it gives me happy feelings when I go into this drawer. Third drawer down, this is this is where we're kind of getting a bit more boring territory. This is just bronzers and contours. So yeah, I just keep all my bronzers and contours in here. Like I've got the um, Soap and Glory contour book that they came out with at Christmas. Um, the Pro Fusion Pro Face. I do really like this actually. I keep it in here because I like the bronzers in it the most. And then on this side, I've got like two Hoolas, my Milani one that I really like, two Soap and Glory ones that I really, really like. <laughs> I 
makeup forever makeup revolution and NYX so a good mix of high-end and drugstore um, two Illamasqua compacts here these are really nice and then a bunch of like palette ones so I've got um, like a sleek one bourgeois however you pronounce that um, NARS Laguna and then at the back more palette types so I've got the Urban Decay Naked Flushed, Tarte Park Avenue Princess, the Sleek Cream um, Contour, ABH, got my ABH Powder Contour Kit, Iconic London Cream Contour, ABH Cream Contour and then my favourite one which is the Makeup Revolution Powder Contour. So that is this drawer, it's a bit more plain and boring. But I mean, contours and bronzers aren't like the most exciting thing. Although I love using them. Talking of boring drawers though, this next one is the most boring. And it's my blush drawer and I'm not happy with this drawer at all. It's very empty and very sad looking. So I really need to get more. But to be honest, how many blushes can one person use? So I've got the Makeup Revolution Sugar and Spice. This is lovely. I've used this pretty much every day since I got it as well. It's really, really good quality. You can't, um, like Makeup Revolution just know how to do powders. And I've also got the Soap and Glory Glow all day down here. I've got my three ABH blush trios. Do you know what, I can't wait until they bring out their bronzers. I can't wait to use them. Um, a Stila Convertible Colour, my Premark Blush Book, which I love, the two ABH Blush Books, MAC Nutcracker Blush and Highlight, that's gorgeous. And um, what other highlights? Milani Luminoso, very worth it, love it so much. Um, Kiko, I really like Kiko blushes. I love Dandelion by Benefit. And then I still love my little natural collections ones. Yeah. I mean, how much can you say about blush? It's blush. And then this final drawer is the drawer that everyone has of everything that is just mess. So makeup wipes, nail polish remover, sellotape, sanitary towels, face wash, what's that, hairbrush, tanning mitt, Mirrors, deodorant, headbands. We all have one of those drawers that is just a mess, but we know what's in it. It's an organized mess. We'll just close that over. So yeah, that is my makeup collection and storage as it is currently. I just did a big declutter, so I feel like everything's a lot more streamlined and I have things that I like. And I've also got a list of things that I want to get now that I've decluttered and have room to grow. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I just wanted to film something so that you don't think I'm like not filming. And I love filming YouTube videos, I really do. So yeah, if there's any products that you saw that you want me to do tutorials on, let me know. Or first impressions or if you want a review on that smile um, teeth whitening thing or the star skin face mask let me know and yeah just give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it especially because i'm sick and filming anyway thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video check out these videos if you have not yet seen them and i'll see you next time bye